All right, let's take a look at some some of my old sketchbooks. I don't know if you guys could tell from the initial drop of all the different ones that I have. I really like the tone tan paper because of that medium shade that you can then apply shadows and lighting to. I gave this guy a little mustache. So these are drawings all the way back from 2014. This is very kind of rubbed away because it was just pencil. I never went in with anything more permanent or darker. And you'll see some very bare pages because I didn't bother filling all these in. I was kind of messing around. So again, pencil with a little bit of the white charcoal. This is supposed to be a self-portrait. I need to do a more recent one since that one's two years old. A couple different poses. Again, these are really rough doodles and they're not really meant for anyone but me. You have a little bit of perspective, practice I guess, some shooting dudes. We keep going. Here we have as you can see different faces, a couple of hands, we've got some more fighting, a couple mouths, a pistol, some different creatures, creatures eyes. Here I was working on a storyboard for an animation, never got around to doing it. A couple more designs, supposedly some girl, a couple mechs down here. And tanks. Tanks are really fun to draw. You guys are going to see a lot of different tanks throughout these sketches. As you can see, I do utilize some of the back pages, especially on things that I don't really care about. So this one is on the opposite side of those other tanks. Here we have an eye colored in with a little bit of Copic markers. Different cat logos for a lady that requested some. I think this one turned out pretty neat if I was to actually clean it up. Here's another self-portrait Pudge from Dota, if you guys ever played that game. A couple more tanks throughout, as always. Here's another, I want to say self-portrait, but it didn't end up looking like like me. Again, it was a sketch, so I didn't, didn't think too much of it. Some sort of yelling guy. That turned out pretty cool. Uh, so a lot of this is ballpoint pen, and I'll often scribble with pen, pencil, and as you can see here, I'll go over with a white jelly roll pen. I have it somewhere here. I'll probably dig it up and show you guys. But not right now. Anyways, more tanks. These are now using references. So we have a Cromwell, a Sherman, a Hellcat, and T-34. Some Panzer III or something like that. You got a little beach head scribbled on um, with ballpoint right here. A dude getting executed and he's like no don't do it here we have a very creepy sloth sorry for any nightmares in advance I would I don't know I don't know what I was thinking there so here we have a person sitting I think I was um, drawing my friend from life and this is the tank he drew and then I laughed and then I drew this tank and then we have an eyeball sketch some I I think he drew the bottle and then I added the hand in I'm not certain. So that was a thing. Here we have some different turrets. Turrets for tank designs. I was like, let's start at level one and if we try to upgrade the design and make it more aerodynamic and ricocheting rounds and all that. So just doing some different design stuff for fun. On the opposite side, we have this little kid with a balloon and this giant monster. I think the monster is pretty cool because he's got all this big grass on him. But his biceps look really weird. I did some, I don't know, I didn't plan it out enough. And then some sort of scribble down here. Here we have more tanks. This time we have tank destroyers and a couple of airplanes throughout. As you can see, I'm, I've tried doing cutouts of like where the engine would go, where the dudes sit, where the gun, uh, the gun mantlet and all that is. I really like this little guy right here. It was done with ballpoint. And on top of the ballpoint, I went in with a Pentel pocket brush. I actually have it here. And here's that jelly roll pen that I went over for the highlights. And as you can see, because the paper's toned, it sets a really nice medium for the dark, middle, and light spots. So you have like a three-tone. It's, it's really neat. Here are a couple different robots, some weird walkers. Moving on to more airplanes, we've got a lot of more unique designs where I tried to put the pilot on the bottom but that doesn't really work because it's like how would it land so I was playing around with that here we have some 
engine stacked bombers and I did a painting of the of this piece right here but never quite finished it it's a pretty cool design um, I got it from one of my favorite art artists Christian Pierce I was influenced by him here a couple different gun designs with more tanks and all that and I'm assuming this is still in 2014 but by now we could already be in 2015 I don't draw on my sketchbooks that often but here is what at least one of them looks like so you have different MGs some more soldiers doing different poses here we have an idea for a game that I was trying to come up with here are some more birds I tried to simplify the shape of a bird by starting with a triangle leaving a line for the tail and then detailing that and kind of worked towards this here you see little I don't know cutesy armored guys some sort of girl knight this backside is scribbles but the reason you can see the color is this paper is pretty thin and the color comes from Copic markers and they seep through so this was I think an inktober drawing where I worked in the pencil pocket brush or any other fine ink stuff that I have and then I would go in with Copic on top it turned out pretty weird because I didn't organize it enough like this branch needs some some deeper shadows and this thick part right here needs needs a more wholesome like I don't know it doesn't look round so this was basically just exploring on the back side we have some sort of spider-man wannabe some dude with a really crooked knife some more guys as you can tell nothing that I take too seriously some different poses for stick men jumping with a sword you know falling all this all this exploration here we have a Robin Williams tribute I never really finished this so it's just a quick genie drawing I don't draw a lot of Disney characters so I don't know how to look at references for this one here we have a from life drawing of my cat Tico some more mechs obviously and this time we include a little bit of spears with built-in guns and like again trying to figure out where the magazine is held and where you push the trigger and all that good stuff some sort of 3d house shape up top some more storyboarding up here different sketches of dragons some are already rubbing away since they're just done in pencil here we have a cat drawing it's labeled with 14 which means 2014 so this is in fact still in 2014 all these different cats this one looks a little bit sick so a lot of just exploring different designs and like seeing how far I can caricature it here we have some knights as you can see some of these styles are very different where I include the outline and I often get rid of the outline entirely on my digital stuff similar to how you see here where I purposefully would go around and try to get rid of the outline by highlighting it or you know other means so just more nights some basketball dudes just to try to look at different poses here I have some more from life drawings when we went to a beach no a summer house type of deal with the family so I don't do that enough um, and it was fun Here's a couple characters I was trying to come up with for an animation. It's kind of like a Max Payne dude, very simplified. I think he looks kind of cool. Check that out. He's like, he's got a beard, his Uzi, sitting on the couch. What his house would look like. That might be fun to explore as well. Here we have a hamster, uh, <laughs> a hamster, a squirrel, some more airplanes some sort of um, setting I think this was me just looking out outside the the porch at that house and drawing the horizon line all right here we've got more mechs but this time this is more like Star Wars inspired I think this was no this wasn't close to when the force awakens came out because that was 2015 so I'm not sure why but yeah I was doodling uh, Star Wars esque designs playing around with engine bays and where it would be mounted and what would make sense here we have some more silly characters 
he's missing a nose. He's got like two dots, but that doesn't make sense. This cow-like thing, I don't know. Here we have a jet ski drawn from life and a boat. These actually turned out pretty well for somebody who definitely does not draw from life much. A couple of fishes, a fish in a barrel, and my cousin's butt crack. He asked me to draw that too. Here we have a Copic drawing. I had very limited colors since since then. I've picked up more, but I haven't gotten around to playing around with them, like playing around with them too much. But as you can see, using all these darker colors and then going in with a white jelly roll pen, you get some really nice highlights. And that's why I really like the tone paper. You can still allow some of that tone to um, poke through and use it to your advantage. This was a drawing where you point a red laser and it looks like the cat is looking at a laser on the wall. Some jetpack dudes. I don't know, he's mismatching armor. It's really weird how he's holding that. Those I don't really care much about. So another drawing of, I think, um, what are they called? I don't even remember, but yeah, some sort of furry rodent. Robot on the side of a hill. These are a little bit more detailed. I think these are my favorite pages to, these are my favorite type of drawings to scribble when I'm waiting for stuff to, um, you know, let's say for my food to finish cooking or something along those lines. So you'll see a lot of different tanks and you'll often see me, maybe not often, but you'll see me push the colors a little bit on some of them or at least add some tone in with the Copic markers. Here's like a more detailed engine bay looking at like version one would be a square, version two would extend towards the shape of this bulbous area and then version three would add more plating and all that good stuff. So that's kind of what I do from time to time. Not sure what these are CD keys for but here's a bird, here's a griffin, looks a little bit awkward, a bunny for the uh, Inktober 2014 Inktober. Some of these will be missing because I did them in other sketchbooks or I given them away. Here's a little bear and his fish and then the next one is even better. It's a fish with his little bear. Genius, right? A little bit creepy. A panda from reference. Turned out pretty cool. So this was all done. I think I went in with pencil first and then with some sort of ink pen. A flying squirrel. It's meant to be viewed this way. It's falling after its walnut. Here we have a girl and her cat. The cat looks a little bit weird. And that's the end of the first sketchbook. Man, that took a little while. We're gonna do two sketchbooks per video, I think, because the videos are gonna be way too long. All right, so on to the next one. Let's look at the 2015 sketchbook for Inktober. I have that right here. And. You can see it's labeled up top. I think that's when I started it, and I'm pretty sure I only used it for Inktober. So this one might be a, might not even be a full sketchbook. So here we have, for day one, a really fat dog. We have a mockingbird. I think I asked my Instagram followers what they wanted to see, or words that I could you know interpret in my own way and draw. Here's a tropic frog. Again, Copic marker with a little bit of uh, ink gel pen to do the highlights. Got a little turtle. This guy turned out really neat. A chunky panda. Whatever these things are called, already forgot. Capybara or something like that. This is an unfinished sketch. It was going to be this big thing swinging between skyscrapers. A monster enjoying himself. This bunny turned out kind of weird. I like how this guy looks. Very, I don't know, cool. He's all like, what's up? And that was day 13. Here we have day 15. Just mixing, playing around with colors and seeing, you know, okay, if I do mostly white, how will that look? It was like a DJ bunny. Somebody requested. Turned out all right. A llama. Kind of scary. A cat falling. Probably trying to jump up to look at some fish or something. I don't know. We got a pelican. Birds drinking out of his thing. 
here's a good example of having limited colors so I was trying to play around with drawing some sort of female warrior and like skin tones and stuff just didn't feel like I could achieve a good enough job for those here's some sort of tree creature a motorcycle sketch for my my cousin she loves bikes and this was supposed to be a futuristic take on a Ducati that's like a hover bike I don't I think that was supposed to be like a rear exhaust for a jet kinda messed up that one I think maybe I can go back and fix it here's like me playing around with more of a joke it's like a beaver eating a plank and he's like I said make him walk it I don't know pretty dumb but whatever it's my kinda humor here we have a cheetah and it's chasing a gazelle and if you are very keen and observant you'll see that this pretty much lines up with this side by side so that was that was me being extra creative there here we have this one's one of my favorites from that year h2o I just put 3o you know for copyright reasons not really but yeah that's what I did and then this guy's crying at his friend being wrecked it's a little snowman here we have a what are those jokes that he's watering them again during the peak of this meme so that's what I did here we have a ghost and I think this since it's October this was around Halloween so yeah you got a cookie and he's afraid of the ghost because cookies kinda dissolve in in milk so that was the idea there and here we have a marshmallow on fire this guy turned out pretty neat too. A very simple penguin sketch. I don't think this was on Inktober anymore. Yeah, this is already past Inktober and you can see other drawings. We have some girl, eye, mouth, another girl in a really, really um, skewed face. Here we have a giant battleship mech. Looks kind of cool from far away and I think that's what I was pretty much going for. Here we have a ship with another mech on its back, a flying thing, and as you can see they all use this circular turret. I kind of wanted to keep a unison design throughout. <laughs> this cat looks weird. Whatever. We're not going to talk about this. This is stuck together because I wanted to do another one of those 3D interactive drawings, and this is a pomegranate that I blew up by pushing down really hard and it shot everywhere. I don't know what the idea behind that was. Here we have a dog with something on its nose. Never finished. Here we have a guy who looks really old and some mech dude next to him. I don't know if, I think most of these I don't use references. I'll try and let you guys know which ones I do use references for. So this is just some rando dude that I drew. A cat breaking something. And we have a squirrel. Very empty pages. A bunny. And that was the end of this 2015 sketchbook. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, checking out the channel, liking and favoring and all your awesome comments and great feedback. I uh, hope you guys have a good one and see you later. Bye.